Following Mark Lynch's foray into rugby with the signing of Sia Khaleesi in 2019, the agency has been making waves, adding top rugby talent, including Springboks, All Blacks, and England internationals to the roster, as well as partnering with the URC to help further the game. This campaign is the master plan of Rock Nation executive Michael Yormark. Yormark lives in Miami and travels globally, but the Rock Nation Sports International HQ in London is where he has based his office. He's in town to unveil the signing of England's Ellis Gange at a prestigious industry event at the home of rugby, Twickenham Stadium. When it comes to the business of rugby, trying to sign the best players, the players that really want to make a difference, that want to help change the game. Michael starts his day as he does every day with a 5 a.m. workout. My workouts are a great time to set my mind and make sure that I start the each, every day the right day. It gives me an opportunity to really set an example. You know, being somebody that works with athletes every day, it's hard for me to do my job do it effectively, unless I'm working as hard or harder than they are. Then it's straight to the office in London's West End to get ready to head to Leaders Week at Twickenham. Come on, everybody. So when we arrive there, we go to the sign-in tent, get all our credentials, then we'll be taken to a backstage area. Hopefully Ellis arrives on time. We can also let the moderator know that at the end we want to um, announce Ellis, which they already know. Okay. Um, and then we're going to give him a bottle of ace and the plane's cap Wh as well. Whoever is um, the moderator yeah. should team me up. Yeah. So after the after the entire panel is done, yeah. they should say, and, and you know, Michael, we know there's a special announcement here mm -hmm. today. And, and you're going to use leaders yeah. to make that special announcement. Yeah. It's the first time we've announced someone in this capacity, haven't we? We never, we never really do anything really in person. You know, we, that's, yeah, I mean, everything that we've done in the past has always been through, you know, a, a, a welcome video we put out on socials. But yeah. to have the, the backdrop of leaders, to be on a stage with him and to be able to do it in person is, is quite special. Yeah. I mean, listen, we got some of the best rugby players in the world, yeah. obviously. And it's a special group of players. Yeah. Um, but he's different. Mm -hmm. No, they don't see it. They think that all of a sudden, oh, we want Ellis Gange. Oh, Ellis Gange wants to join Rock Nation. Boom, corner. it's done. Yeah. It's not done that way. I yeah. mean, this thing took five, six months. Now, the contract was easy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that took 48 hours. But yeah. getting to that point where he said, okay, let's do this. And we said, okay, let's do this. Mm -hmm. It's a process. Yeah, absolutely. It's a process. No, so no one's exciting. That's no, a big day. It's, it's exciting. Big day. Upon arrival at Twickenham, Michael receives a call from Ellis. Oh, it's him. It's him right now. My brother, how you doing, okay? Yeah, I'm good, I see you. I'm just um, on your left hand side now in the black range. Uh, yeah. That could not have been more convenient. What's up, my brother? How you feel? <laughs> He's the man, huh? Hey, man. You good, bro? <laughs> yeah, see bro. You good? Good. Ellis just has enough time for a quick change before he and Michael head out on stage for their panel. Yeah, big day for me, um, and hopefully Rock. It's been pipeline for a few months, two, three months. I've been speaking to Mark for, <clears throat> Michael for a little bit longer than that, but uh, yeah, sort of just growing that relationship over the last few months, make sure it's right for everyone. Michael himself, obviously, uh, just speaking to him, his passion, his energy, I think that just uh, captivates the room, and I think he's getting in the, in the right rooms with the right people, so hopefully, um, with a bit of persistence, we could, we could see some real change in rugby and positive change at that. You know, when we came over Rock Nation in, in September of 2019 and opened up our office here, um, we had no visions of getting involved in, in the sport of, of rugby. It wasn't even on, on the radar screen and in all transparency, um, I didn't even know what the ball looked like. But um, <laughs> <laughs> it, it wasn't until I got caught up in, in all the excitement of the World Cup uh, that was taking place in Japan that I started developing a little bit of an interest. And, and then, obviously, 
you know, the signing of Sia Khaleesi was a very special moment for us. Uh, he's an extraordinary person. And through him educating me and under really understanding the impact of rugby, not just in South Africa, but here in Europe and what it means to communities, that's what attracted us, you know, to, to this sport. But at the same time, we also think it can be bigger um, and it can be more successful um, and it can be more diversified. And, and that's why, you know, we're, we're so eager to be a part of it and, and to hopefully make some significant contributions. On field, the product's really good. You know, it is free flowing, great rugby, fantastic product. Um, so we need to carry on that momentum, but make sure we, we deal with the offside, uh, the, off, the off pitch um, in a robust way. And then in stats formation. <laughs> um. uh, the opportunity to, to meet Martin. And, and, and so, you know, we decided that, you know, we wanted to help each other. Um, he's taught me a lot about the sport. And I think we've created, you know, opportunities and best practices that we can bring to rugby and specifically the URC. You know, I think culturally, what I've learned culturally, you know, players have never felt comfortable being at the forefront and, and they've never felt comfortable having the light shine on them. You know, I think what the sport needs to understand and what clubs need to understand is that when the lights shine on players, it's also shining on the club. It's shining on the community, it's shining on the sport. And unless they all come together and become true partners, they can't grow the sport. I know you've got an announcement that you want to, yes. to make. I'm super excited uh, and I'm honored um, to welcome the next member of the Rock Nation family, and that's Ellis Genge. <laughs> Only as Rock Nation can do, um, I present you with this gold bottle of Ace of Spades. Welcome to our family. It's a thrill to have the opportunity to work with you and your family, and I'm looking forward to accomplishing great things with you. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, what, one more gift. <laughs> Today, in front of this incredible audience, you must put this on. <laughs> it definitely ain't gonna fit my head, but... <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay. After the big announcement, it's now time for an intimate round table with a few journalists. Firstly, I, I just love the energy. Uh, when I first met Michael, when I first ever spoke to him, was on a podcast. I could feel it through the, through the screen. Um, and then when we met in person, he matched it. So for me, the energy that a person gives off is massive. And then obviously he's a representation of the brand. So then as I looked into it more and, and learned more about what Michael was trying to do, that really aligned with what I wanted, which is predominantly change um, for the better. Change needs to happen now, right? There's no better time than the moment. And the next 12 months going up to the World Cup is, is a critical time period. And that World Cup can be a shining moment for the sport on a global stage. You gotta make it a major event. It can't be a major event just for rugby fans. It's gotta be a major event for sports fans all over the globe. I'm excited about it, you know, not just because I happen to be a rugby fan now, but I think it's gonna be a great event. And, you know, when you think about the American culture when it comes to sports, people love going to great events. Right? You think about the Super Bowl as an example. You know how many people go to the Super Bowl and watch it on TV just to watch the halftime show? You know, the National Football League and Rock Nation announced, you know, this, this, you know, the upcoming Super Bowl's halftime show with Rihanna. Do you know if people are now interested in watching the halftime show since Rihanna hasn't been on tour since I think it was 2016? Um, so just that piece is going to bring casual sports fans and non-sports fans to the National Football League. You talked about traditions downstairs. The rugby has a lot of deeply rooted traditions and people who have been involved in it from the amateur days through to now. You're going in with a, what you think is a game-changing idea that would have changed, changed the vision of the World Cup opening ceremony and you met with people going, well, I'm not really sure we want to go there. Listen, change takes time. You've got a lot of traditionals that are running the sport. It takes time. And, and sometimes you've got to take baby steps. You know, my boss reminds me, all the time, greatness is a process, right? It's a process. So we're not going to make change overnight. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank, you. Thank you. We didn't sign him because he's a great rugby player. We signed him first and foremost because he's a great person. Obviously, he's a great player, but he fits really nicely uh, in what we're trying to build in the rugby space. We're trying to, to sign the best players in the world, players that really want to make a difference, that want to help change the game. And when you think about Ellis Genge, he checks all those boxes. I actually met him initially on a podcast 
And it was a podcast that really focused on changing the game. What can the game do to take the next step? And so it was fascinating listening to him because most rugby players aren't willing to put themselves out there like that and talk about change and talk about the need for change. And so I realized very, very quickly that we saw the future the same way uh, and we really connected. I think you know what we need to do is continue to talk about change. We need to talk about the things that need to be done within the sport of rugby. And the more we talk about it and, and, and get people to understand and accept it, the faster we can make change.